everyone. I'm Kelsey, your host of M&A Empowerment. And today we have Marissa Wiley of Nixon Peabody with us today. Marissa, if you'd like to introduce yourself and your firm. Hi, Kelsey. Thank you for having me. I'm Marissa Wiley. I'm a partner at Nixon Peabody, which is an international AMLAW 100 full service law firm. Um, we're kind of all over the place. We do anything a company or uh, high net worth individuals might need, including mergers and acquisitions. Awesome. If you could tell us and our guests a little bit about your role in the M&A process. Sure, I'd be happy to. I am a merger and acquisitions lawyer. Um, that might not be too descriptive, but it basically means that I help people buy and sell businesses and companies. I am the main point person from a legal perspective. When I partner with a seller or a buyer, I am their legal representative and liaison in connection with the transaction. I'm sure they have a lot of attorneys that they're working with, but I'm kind of the focal point on that transaction. It's my job to understand my client's business and their objective and to use my legal skills and firm network to achieve that object objective in a legally enforceable and efficient way that minimizes risk and maximizes reward. I assist from the start at planning the deal structure through the middle when we negotiate the terms of the deal, all the way to drafting and finalizing the legal documents that actually memorialize the deal. I have the support of an army of colleagues who focus on various specialties like tax, employee benefits, real estate, IP, et cetera. But I'm the person who kind of brings it all together, distills it, and makes it into the transaction that my client needs it to be. All while being, you know, a part-time therapist for my client while they go through this stressful process. Oh, of course. <laughs> awesome. Um, so if you could tell us a little bit about a recent professional success you've had. Yeah, the one that's front of mind is actually a success in progress. Um, I am currently representing a company um, in connection with a sale. It's very important to me because this is the founder's life work. Um, you know, I've been working on this company. It's a medical technology company for many years. and having an exit to a purchase to a strategic buyer, another buyer in the industry. It's a complicated transaction. Um, and we are working really hard to guide the client's team through the transaction. And for many of them, this is the first that they've ever done. Um, so it's really important to understand their business and tailor this esoteric transaction to their reality. Um, and I'm really proud of this deal in particular because it's one of the first that I've sourced through the Women in Deal Making Network. Um, the Women in Deal Making Network is an initiative that I, along with two other women partners in M&A at my firm, are piloting to connect women in M&A and private equity. There's a finite number of women in the field. And my goal is to talk with every single one of them. It's well underway. Um, our goal as the initiative is to create connection and drive business to one another with an all ships rise mentality. Um, we were inspired to start that initiative when we kind of looked it around at our bench and noticed that we have an incredible team of women attorneys. We could staff a whole deal with just women if my labor and employment colleagues would tell me that's okay. It's, it's not okay, but we could do it. Um, and that's really saying something for a law firm. Uh, I got this deal through networking with women, and I'm proud to say that I've staffed a very significant number of very talented women attorneys on it. So this is a real dream realized for me. That's amazing. And I can attest to the Women in Deal Making Initiative. I just joined Marissa last week at one of the dinners that they hosted, and it was it was truly empowering to be around that many successful women. So I really appreciated that. And I can't wait to see where the initiative goes. I've been in this industry for some time now, and I'm hardly ever in a room filled with just women. And to have created that room, I mean, top marks. That's so exciting. Uh, I'm really energized by it. Absolutely. So I guess lastly, 
What advice would you give to other women who are currently in the field or who might be looking to get into your field? I think our first step as women is to acknowledge there is a challenge. Um, it is an uphill battle. We are fed the lines that we can have it all and that things are inherently fair. Neither of those things is true. Um, but if you decide that you're going to proceed despite these challenges, um, then you need to fully commit. Take up space. Do not apologize. That is one of my pet projects is like conditioning apologies out of my female mentees. Um, have confidence in yourself, even if you feel a little bit delusional at times. We all do. But you can't let imposter syndrome hold you back. You have to be yourself and make no apologies about that. That said... Um, I'd recommend you also find your people. There's only so much swimming upstream we all can do. And that's what women in deal making is about. For me, I find myself at ease with, with other women in the industry. So I seek them out. They inherently understand the struggles that I've been through because they've been through the same struggles. But the more we support one another and the more we make room for at the table for each other, the less challenging it's going to be for us all and the more fair that things will become. And I think it will take that collective determination to get there. Absolutely. That's great advice, Marissa. And again, everyone, this is Marissa Wiley, who's a partner at Nixon Peabody. And I thank you so much, Marissa, for being a guest and also for the invitation and the ability to be part of this Women in Deal Making initiative with you. I'm so proud of you and the firm. It's, it's great. Thank you so much, Kelsey. It's been a pleasure to be involved. I'm honored and happy to be here.